Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. And also hope you guys are ready to learn another fun challenge in today's uh, Swift Fun Algorithm series. So what is it that we want to talk about for today? And so basically, this is a very uh, common interview question that I'll probably ask inside of an interview. And the question is basically this. Uh, so assume you are given a, a sentence of words, and I want you to uh, implement a function that returns um, this entire sentence, but with every other word inside of the sentence reversed, okay? So every other word inside of a string reversed is what you want to return. So fun challenge, and this kind of just tests how you're able to manipulate words and kind of keep track of indices inside of an array. So let's go ahead and go into Xcode right here. I'm gonna create a playground, and let's just call it reverse words for now. It doesn't matter so much what you call it. And I'm just gonna create this project here, drag it over, and expand it like we always do to make a little bit more space for you guys to work with. So Playgrounds comes with pretty useful uh, UI here. Every time you declare a variable, it just prints it out on the right. And also if you click this little console button on the top right, you can actually print out things like one, two, three, and then you get the print statement down here. Cool, pretty good starting point for us right now and we actually want to implement this function that returns every other word reverse inside of a given string so let's just do func reverse words in sentence if i can spell it out correctly and this function takes in a sentence variable of string and returns that string with every other word reversed cool so let's just use a sample sentence up here and that sample sentence will be um, let's say, let's start today by completing a very interesting challenge. Doesn't matter so much what that is. And let's just do this here. So inside of this reverse words and sentence function, we'll just return sentence for now. So let's just do that. And we'll do this right here. So if we comment that out, and we'll say reverse words and sentence, and we'll use this sample sentence as our uh, sentence variable. And you see it just prints out the entire sentence like that. Okay, so here is the fun part. How do we want to actually start reversing or reversing every other word inside of the sentence? So let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. And first, we want to do something very simple. And we just want to iterate through all of the words inside of this sample sentence. So. The way to do that is to create a variable called all words. So let's call it all at all words equals sample sentence. And how do we get all of the words inside of the sentence? Well, this is called component separated by string. And if you separate it by this space, you get all of the words. So if we just do for word in all words, like so, and print out this word variable, we are looping through all of these words separated by the space we're just printing out this simple word down at the very bottom. Now let's reconstruct this entire sentence by concatenating all of those words together to create a new sentence. So let's just call it var new sentence equals uh, empty string for now. And then we will say new sentence plus equals word like so. At the very bottom, we get still this print statement. And then if we comment that print out, and if we just simply print out what this function call actually returns, we get <coughs> this uh, sentence down here. And so the thing that we actually want to do is we want to return this new sentence variable. And at the very bottom, you see that new sentence is actually the uh, concatenation of all these words but it doesn't have this space that separates each one of these words. So let's just simply add a space by doing this. If new sentence uh, not equals this empty string, we'll say new sentence plus equal this space. That's how we introduce a space between each one of these words. So pretty good so far. I hope you guys are still with me. And the thing is, well, let's uh, go on to the next uh, challenge here. So. Basically, we want to reverse uh, every other word, but let's just see how we want to reverse uh, one word inside of this loop. So basically, 
word is equal to, uh, what you can do is word.characters.reverse. So that's going to give me a reverse of each one of those words. And if I do string like this, like so, I actually get uh, the actual reversed word. So if I do let reverse word equals that, and then I'm just going to change that uh, to reverse word, and now we get the reverse of every word inside of the sentence. So pretty good so far, and we're pretty close to what we want to get at. And uh, basically we want to reverse every other word and not every word inside of this sentence. So inside of this for loop, it is pretty hard to actually track uh, every other word. And basically you want to know when the index is odd, right? When a, the word right here is the odd index inside of this all words array. So the way you do that is to actually use a different for loop and we'll use one that keeps track of an index like this. So let's do for index of zero dot dot dot. And so what is the limit on which we want to run this for loop? Basically it's count minus one. And then we are kind of okay for now. So let's just add this inward right there and we'll be okay. And I'm just gonna copy and paste all that code in there. And I'm just gonna comment this out right here. And so it's now gonna to, going to complain about this word variable. And we just need to say let word equals all words index like so. Now it knows what word is and we get the exact same uh, print statement as we uh, got earlier. And we're now in a, a pretty good spot to reverse every other word. So basically here's how we want to do it. So if, uh, if index modulus two equals one, we'll actually do this reverse here. Else we'll just say uh, new sentence plus equals word like this. So there's no reversing of the words down here. And then reverse word is over there. So let's just copy and paste that or cut rather. And then now we get the entire sentence, but instead of reversing every word, it just goes through and reverses every other word. So this is star, this is by, and this is interesting, and this is challenge right there. So every other word is reversed. So I'm just gonna remove this right there. And then now we have uh, let's see, remove that print statement as well. And here is the kind of final implementation of this reverse, uh, reverse words and sentence function. It's pretty good and pretty simple and straightforward, I think. Um, one thing, uh, kind of a bonus for the, today's video is this right here. I wanna include a, a different challenge to this problem. And basically I want to instead of, or actually not instead, but on top of reversing every other word, I want to remove, um, I want to remove the vowels in all of these words inside of this sentence down here. So basically I want to remove this E, this A, this O, this A, and so on and so forth. So you can imagine I can start uh, adding some code in here to remove all of those vowels. But what I'm gonna show you today is a very uh, kind of neat trick that Swift provides and essentially it's an extension and I'm going to extend this string class here and whenever I extend a string I can include a function on string I'm going to just call kind of let's see call this uh, string by removing vowels and this returns a string like so so and I can just return self for now so let me show you what this actually does, right? So if I just return, let's see, if I just use this word right here, so word is of uh, type string class, and I can just call string by removing vowels like this. And now we have the actual access to this function for each one of these, uh, these strings right here. So pretty good stuff. Now we actually keep all of this code pretty uh, clean and compact and we should include new functionality inside of this extension down here. So what do we wanna do here? So I'm just gonna simply remove all of these vowels inside of these strings that are calling 
the string by removing vowels function. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to just simply call for, or actually let's see how we want to do this, right? So let new, so var new word equals self, right? And let's just say new word equals new word dot a string by say string by replacing occurrences of a string like this. And let's just re remove all the A's inside of the string. And then we can actually just return a new word like this. And here you can already tell that we removed the A here and there's an A in there. And there's also an A in here as well and A in there. So we can actually just copy and paste all of this code and just remove all of the vowels, right? And we should be okay. So I've done this three times. And what I want to tell you is that as a good programmer, and if you're actually doing this inside of an interview, you'll most likely uh, be docked points, if not an entire failure. Because as a good programmer, you don't want to repeat all of these uh, very similar lines of code. Uh, when you can actually use a for loop to execute all this uh, bit of logic very easily and simply like this. So how do we want to do this in a for loop? Basically, we want to do uh, this, right? Let's make this new word equal stuff up there. And then we'll say for uh, val in this array. So I'm just going to make this array of vowels, a, e, i, o, c, o, u. <clears throat> Let's type that out correctly. And I'm just going to execute this function here. <laughs> and I'm going to replace, instead of this hard-coded A, I'm going to replace val with that string. And let's see, remove those extra lines of code. <laughs> and here we get the entire string by removing vowels function, executing this very simple uh, for loop with all of these vowels. And you notice all of the vowels are now being removed from the function. All right, that is pretty much all I wanted to show you guys today. Hope you guys liked the video and kind of like the algorithm and sort of challenging way of reversing every other word inside of a sentence. So pretty good stuff. And I hope you guys uh, kind of learn a little bit more each time you guys go through one of these Swift problems. All right. So uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for that next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.